Hi there. So for my technical speech, I'm going to be covering golf's rule four, which rule four is essentially what you can and cannot have in your bag. Um, rule four is about 100 pages long. I'm going to go over you know, two pages of it and the part that's really what what's relevant. And that's the number of clubs you can carry, what type of clubs you can carry, and your other accessories that you can put with your bag. And this wasn't a rule for the longest time. Mind you, golf's been around for about 400 years. This didn't become a rule until about the 1900s, 1920s-ish, because it was never necessary. And when I say that, that had a lot to do with just being prior to industrialization. Up to that point, golf clubs were made out of wood. And, you know, everything from the shaft all the way down to the head was even made out of wood with a little bit of metal on the uh, face of it. And that was what you used to play golf with. And you had maybe six clubs. You had your driver, your fairway wood, a couple irons, and they're all pretty much the same club, just with a different size club head, which kind of helped the ball go further, not as far. And then you had your putter. So the average golfer maybe had six clubs at the time. Didn't really need to have a rule of saying how many clubs you could have. And then you fast forward to the 1920s after the Industrial Revolution, and now we're getting to the point where hobbies are being modernized, and with that came golf. They developed these metal shafts. Well, not this metal shaft. This is a steel alloy that's a lot lighter than what they had back then, but still what they did have was a lot better than the wood they had before. They developed the modern or more modern club head, which gave them the ability to change the loft on it a lot more than having two or three options. So with that, you had over 30 different types of clubs, and I'll get into some of them later. Um, so with that, golfers had a lot more stuff they could use. The wooden clubs were a lot more versatile because they had to be. The metal clubs, they weren't as versatile, but they were a lot tougher, a lot more durable, and golfers had a lot more control of the ball with them because of the design and the material and just you know, your advancements. And so with that, golfers started to carry upwards of two dozen clubs in their bag during competitions. And caddies didn't like that for obvious reasons because that gets heavy after a while. And then slowly the rules committees didn't like it because it started to take away from how they viewed it as the spirit of the game of golf. It, they started making golf a, a little too easy for the golfers because they had a, a club for every shot. It didn't matter where they hit it. And as a fan of golf, I can understand why that's relevant. Um, so with that came the advent of rule four. And what Rule 4 states, in essence, is that a golfer is not allowed to have more than 14 clubs in a bag. They can have less than 14, they just can have more than 14. And within that 14, uh, there's a, a what's considered a standard combination, which is three woods, or drivers, which is, or sorry, three fairway woods, which is my driver, my three and my five, eight irons, typically your three iron down to your nine iron, plus a pitching wedge and a putter which gives you 12, and then the USGA kind of gives you a little freedom on those last two, to an extent. Uh, one of the rules they kept in place, and for the sake of competitive equity, more than equality, competitive equity, was you can't have more than three fairway woods, because they actually make nine. The most common ones are one, three, and five. They make them one to nine with varying lofts, and that's for golfers who might be better hitting those larger faced clubs, than they are an iron, but they still want to be able to hit it far. So somebody might use a six wood instead of a six iron because it's, it's better for them. Well, if they're going to do that, they have to get rid of their three or their five or their driver, something like that. So they kept, you know, they created rules like that to keep the game as competitive as possible. Um, with that, they are not limited, like I said, to those normal club designations. You can have a one, two, and a four wood if you want. It's just, it's whatever makes you happy. And you don't have to have just the eight irons. You can have as many or as few as you want. The three fairway woods is a maximum, not a minimum. If a golfer wanted to play around a round of golf without any fairway woods, they, in, real, you know, in reality, they could. They probably wouldn't, though, if they're trying to win. Um, you know, so with that, Golfers can, you know, they're allowed to have more than 14 clubs in their bag on specific occasions. One of those, probably the most common one, is when they're practicing. Because golfers will typically travel with 
20 to 25 clubs still uh, like they used to do, but they won't play with that. They'll go out to the range with maybe, they'll narrow it down to 15 or 16 clubs. They'll practice, see which ones they're liking. They'll compare it to the course, which ones are going to help them perform their best, give them the best chance to win, and then they'll remove some clubs. It's the same thing as a baseball manager looking at a roster and going, well, who's had the best success against this pitcher? Who should we put here or there? It's all strategy and it's all scheming. But with that, there are rules if you, or there's there's penalties if you break that rule. Um, very popular incident was in 2001, professional golfer Ian Woosnam had 15 clubs in his bag because he had a second driver that he was practicing with and his caddy forgot to take it out. He was, dead, he was given a two-stroke penalty, which is the minimum if you're found to have more clubs than necessary in your bag. And he ends up losing, I think, by one stroke. So it really cost you if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Um, if you're caught doing that for more than for the duration of a round, the maximum is only four strokes. So if you get caught and you don't realize it and it's the fourth hole, keep going. They can't hurt you anymore. Um, and then additionally, on top of that, when you look at your golf clubs during competition, whatever you have in the bag has to stay in the bag. You can't change clubs in the middle of a round. You can change clubs between rounds, which a lot of golfers will actually do. And that's, again, to maintain that competitive equity amongst the golfers. Um, and then there are some rules determining what you can carry outside of your golf clubs. Uh, one of them is golf balls. There's no rule stating what kind or how many golf balls you need to have in your bag. There's no maximum. There's no minimum. Pro golfers typically carry at least nine. I carry 15 because I'm not very good. Uh, but there is a rule during competitive play that you have to play one brand or one type. So I play a Callaway Tour Soft. So if I were to go out this weekend and play in an amateur golf tournament, if this is what I used off the first tee, I've got to use the same brand of ball for the duration of the tournament. Um, with that, there's you know, nothing stating you should, but it's a good idea. Make sure you have an umbrella in case you get caught in a rainstorm. And then to have a towel, because if you don't have a towel, you're not going to help maintain a clean course because you're not going to be able to you know, clean your ball or anything like that, which seems odd, but it is true. You know? So that's that. In closing, 14 clubs. Make sure you don't have 15. Carry a towel and don't change out your ball during the round. So that's it.